Here's a couple pictures you won't see. Other items you ha that you never see about Giza. This here is a, a, a steel door. This is on the east side of the Great Pyramid. The steel door, tunnel that goes under the Great Pyramid. These are shafts that go down next to the Great Pyramid, east side. And uh, these were some sort of water shafts here. And that's just showing the shafts and then a bunch of garbage in them. Uh, you won't see these. You won't see most stuff. If it's important, and it doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, they don't include it. And uh, this this was a really old. I, I gave this Chris Dunn. I wanted him to look for erosion. So this is like 2000, back in 2000, 10 years old. But I was trying to explain to him how how the the velocity, the way the fluid coming through here actually created a rotational momentum. It created inertia at the le this level. So you've got rotation and it's trying to force it out. So even if you stop the impulse, you still have it shooting across the rim just from the momentum, which is, uh, encourages the, the, the whole pump system. That's just a <laughs> picture that shows overwhelming number of fluid flows. Very specific. It's absolutely overwhelming. And that is it. This is my very quick gorilla video for Carrie. Just showing. This is the subchamber model. So it's uh, 48 to 1, or 1 to 48. So it's quarter inch to the foot. Now, this was the shaft that I showed earlier. Now, the, the pit shaft in the room is offset by 45 degrees. Now, the line down to the down to the Sphinx area from the Sphinx Temple. This is the shaft. And if you take the room and drop it down, that is exactly 45 degrees. And that is the precise reason why they offset that, that particular shaft at 45 degrees. Nobody has any clue that's a specific reason. It's for the, the shaft at the bottom. It's for the, for the angled sh uh, connection. Now also, why nobody has a reason why this shaft is offset from, from the, the eastern wall. Now this is the entrance. It's three foot by three foot. And if you have, let's see here, if you have water shooting in across, the water misses the shaft which has a down, downward velocity and it comes across here. That's the dead end shaft and that's the output. What you see is it directly strikes the dead end shaft and so that's where the output is. That's the high velocity. It's a continuous flow straight out. Plus you've got the rotation so the rotation uh, encourages it. And on this model, there's